line. On 10th and Broadway, daters describe the online scene. Convenient. Desperate. And personable. Random. Why is that? Uh, you just never know what's going to happen. One word we didn't hear, safe. The Pew Research Center says 15% of all Americans have dabbled in online dating. I've heard the stories of them getting kidnapped. I would not trust it. That fear is real. In 2016, a mid-Missouri man faced a kidnapping charge stemming from an online meetup. Last fall, police linked a group of armed robberies in Nebraska to a fake meetup. Still, the stigma has vastly improved in the last decade. Pew says roughly 60% of Americans say it's a good way to meet people. As I was going through, I seen a picture of a guy, and it was just his demeanor just really caught my eye. So I swiped right. Erica Montgomery says she met her husband on a dating app. As a first-time user, it was a move out of her comfort zone. It made her cautious. I was on YouTube. I was on everything that I could. I wanted to figure out who this guy was. 5% of Americans in a marriage or committed relationship say they met online. The National Cyber Safety Alliance says to follow these main steps when navigating online and in the apps. Don't post contact information. Control what you're sharing. Do your own background check. Look to verify they are who they say they are. Meet in a public place. Let a friend or family member know where you'll be. And trust your intuition. If someone is harassing you, report abuse to the site or app. I was looking to try to get something out of my comfort zone so I just I tried but she still says you need to be careful any red flags just shut it down and do your background checks if you have any information that you see about them check it a move helping daters ditch danger reporting in Columbia Tommy Sladek KRCG 13